Hey, community, we're back again. I'm Brandy B, the community MP. And I'm Brandy G, the community MP. And together we are BNB, the community MPs. So today we're going to talk about the COVID vaccine. I know a lot of people have questions about it. So hopefully we can answer some of those questions in this video for you guys. Okay, so we're going to give them some facts. Um, I'll start off, Brandy, and I'll talk about the Moderna vaccine. Um, that's the most recent vaccine that just came out. Um, so that vaccine actually is, is, it was produced to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. So it's, it, you want to receive this because it may help you prevent, it may help prevent you from getting COVID-19 basically. Right. Yeah. The vaccine is given to patients or people 18 years or older. Mm -hmm. um, it gives two doses. The doses are one month apart. The effectiveness of the vaccine is 94.1%, which is not bad. That's not bad, 94.1%. Um, it, it's duration of how long it's going to work in your system for which from getting COVID-19 is unknown. It does not contain the COVID-19 virus, so that's very important to know. And also, the vaccine is not FDA approved. It's FDA authorized for emergency use. Yeah. So that's some facts about the Moderna vaccine. And most and the vaccines that we give routinely now are FDA approved, so that's a process that you know that that's a while. Has to go through to get approval. But this these two vaccines are not FDA approved; they're just like Brandy said, authorized for emergency use. So and then there's the Pfizer vaccine, which is pretty similar to the Moderna. Um, it has um, it's ninety five percent effective is authorized to help prevent this uh, help prevent you from getting COVID-19. It's a, approved for individuals eight, 16 and older. So the Moderna is 18 and older. So you yes. can get this one if you're a little bit younger. Then it's also two dose, does not contain the SARS COVID-19 and the duration of effectiveness is unknown in this one as well. Neither of the vaccines were studied in kids or pregnant women. For pregnant women, they leave it up to their doctor on if they should get it or not. So you got to weigh the benefits with the risk. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So let's talk about some of the side effects of the vaccine. As we know, like with any vaccine, any injection, you may get pain, um, tenderness, or redness at the site of injection. Uh -huh. So that's with both of the vaccines. Um, fatigue, feeling tired, headaches was frequent, nausea, vomiting, fever, chills, um, what else? Let's see, joint pains, aches, all those were side effects of the vaccine. But and one that I saw was the, go ahead, Brandon. I was gonna say the lymphadenopathy, which Okay. I know you were concerned about that one. And why Because I saw that with the Pfizer. I know I don't understand the lymphadenopathy, like what causes that. But. I don't either. Maybe like you said before, some underlying health conditions or immunity problems. But that is an odd side effect. That is. And I saw that with the Pfizer vaccine, they say that most people um, started having side effects after the second dose of the vaccine. That's when a lot of the side effects. But I think you said you knew a couple of people when they got the first dose. Or somebody, I don't, somebody was telling me that they knew a couple of people um, when they got the first dose, they started having side effects for 24 hours after. And yeah, I don't, it wasn't me. I don't know anybody. I, but I don't <laughs> know a lot of people <laughs> that, that have got the vaccine. So, yeah. So one of my patients... One of, I talked to one of my patients yesterday. She said that she had went and got the vaccine the day before, but she said she was feeling fine. How she got it? Was she like, did she say healthcare work or something? How, was honestly, she able to get it? honestly, I didn't ask her. You were supposed to ask that question. Um, my bad. I just know she was eligible. So she must have been, she may have been a healthcare worker or um, she wasn't elderly, so. Okay, so tell me, Brandy, so we talked about some of the side effects. So what is like one of the most important side effects that we didn't mention? So, and that's the one that scares everybody, is anaphylaxis. Mm -hmm. So that's like a severe reaction. You may have um, like swelling in your throat where you can't breathe. It's a medical emergency, so you go, there's nothing that you can do at home. You got to go straight to the emergency room. Yeah, so, but but not, you know, that can happen with any vaccine, yeah. not just this vaccine. So that's... Medicine, a side food, so it can yeah. happen with a lot of stuff. Yeah. So who shouldn't get the vaccine? If you're allergic to the COVID nineteen vaccine, don't you don't get the vaccine. 
But how would I know that? I got to get the vaccine. Yeah. To, to know that. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like she said, you won't know if you're allergic to the COVID vaccine until you get it. But if you have an allergic reaction, don't get the second one for sure. Yeah, and I, I guess you can look up the ingredients to see what's in it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can do that research, look up the ingredients and see what's in it. If you're allergic to any of those ingredients, then definitely yeah. don't get the vaccine. But, you know, one of the, a couple of the ingredients that people get concerned about is eggs and latex. And that this vaccine doesn't contain either of those. Yeah, because one of my patients did ask me, I'm allergic to told me that they were allergic to the flu vaccine and want to know, well, can I get the COVID vaccine? I was like, yeah, you can still get it. She's like, are you sure? <laughs> She's like, yeah, you can still get it. Yeah. So, so let's mm-hmm. go through some scenarios, some frequently asked questions. Okay, Brandy, how much does the vaccine cost? It's free. It's what? free. So, girl, let me tell you. So if it was purchased, wait, wait, let, me, let me clarify this. It's free if it was purchased with the U.S. taxpayer dollars. So then the vaccine oh, actually, is free. We already paid for it. Yes. So you, you pay for it with your taxes. But when so the, whoever's administering the injection or the, the vaccine, they can charge you an administration fee from giving you the vaccine. And they can bill you insurance for it. Um, some people are not charging for it at all, but they can charge you a fee just to give you the vaccine. So, But the vaccine itself is supposed to be free. Okay, good. So go get your vaccines if you want it. Um, yes. And then, so, if I have COVID nineteen in the past, or if I, I've if I have had COVID nineteen in the past, should I get the vaccine? Yes, you can. Yes, CDC says if you had COVID nineteen in the past, you can get the vaccine. But so they suggest that if you had it in the past, um, the ninety days after you had COVID, you was diagnosed with COVID nineteen, they say that at that time frame, it's very rare for you to be reinfected. So you can actually wait 90 days to after you were diagnosed with COVID-19 to get the vaccine. So it's up to you. So what do you think about that, Brandon? So in my brain, I'm thinking, does the vaccine only last 90 days? So you get, is it like 90 day immunity or what? Because why, if you get, I guess if you get COVID, why for 90 days are you less likely to get it? And is that true? Because I feel like back when it first started, I feel like I had patients that got COVID, they got better, they got COVID again, and it was just like a vicious cycle. And it, there wasn't a 90-day period in between. I said, I don't I don't think I had any reinfection cases that I know of. Like, I, mean, um, I don't think so. I really don't. I guess I didn't, really didn't pay attention to that reinfection because once they got it, a lot of my patients, they got better after. Yeah. Um, so I didn't really see the people who had reinfections. So I don't know. That that was something that was on their website. It was like it's uncommon to be reinfected up until 90 days after you, you've been infected. So that was interesting. That was interesting to know. But that's not to say that you can't get it. So right. what you gonna do with your patient? So say so say for instance you had a patient who um tested positive like two weeks ago mm-hmm. and and they're at they're at the age sixty five and above where they can receive the vaccine now. What what would you do? I would tell them if they wanted, go ahead and get it because what's the 90 days going to do? Just 90 days is like a, um, I guess, a wait period. What's the point mm-hmm. of waiting when you can go ahead and get the vaccine? You know okay. What I mean? okay, okay. Okay, I got a question for you. Brandon, Hopefully I got can it. I catch COVID-19 by taking a vaccine? You cannot get COVID from the vaccine. You sure? Yes. And <laughs> well... The CDC says you cannot get COVID from the vaccine. <laughs> and while we talk about that, let's just say you can't get the flu from the flu vaccine. Can I just throw that out there? Can we? Yes, just, you can. Can we let the <laughs> world? My face. <laughs> All right. Yes, you can. You can. You can. World so up. tell me why. So so this is so this is a scenario. I got the vaccine on Monday. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, I started having wasn't feeling good. So I decided to go get tested for COVID-19. And Friday, they called me and said I had COVID-19. I thought you told me I couldn't get the um, COVID from taking a vaccine. So why do I have COVID-19 now? Well, so you got the vaccine, but the vaccine has not built immunity in your system yet. So the CDC says that you really don't get immunity till like one to two weeks after the second vaccine. So, and then Mm -hmm. still, you know, we told you it's 94.1% and 95% 
effective. So there's still that little bit of percentage that says you can still oh. get COVID. Wow. So, Brandon, if I get the vaccine, do I still got to wear a mask? Do I still got to social distance? Yes. You got to do all that. You sure? But yeah. I got the vaccine, Brandon. Yeah, but, but there's still that little bit of percentage that says okay. you can still get reinfected. And also, they don't know how long immunity lasts. So maybe immunity lasts only 90 days and your 90 days is up. Okay, 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 okay. So that's a good point to know um, that even though you get the vaccine, you still want to wear your mask. You still want to social distance. You still want to wash your hands. Everything is still the same, even though you got the vaccine. Yeah. Okay. That's a good now, question. Man. Yeah. Right, so tell me, um, so Brian, I know you were talking about that the vaccine, everybody can't get it at the same time. Tell me oh, a little bit about yeah. that. So they're phasing the vaccine out in groups. So of course, phase one, I think is in, in process now. Phase one, so it's 1A, 1B, 1C. Phase 1A was healthcare workers and people in long-term care facilities like assisted living facilities, nursing homes. Those are the first group of people that could get it. And then in 1B, they decided like firefighters, police officers, mm -hmm. like uh, people that work for the post office, teachers, those would be the second group of people to get it. Okay. And then the last group was the high risk based off the age. So like 65 to 74, and then people with um, people 16 to 64 with underlying medical conditions. So one of the regular people could get it. <laughs> I don't know yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so mm -hmm. hang in there. So I did, um, I was on a Moderna call um, last week, earlier last week, and it did say that, you know, even though they're phasing it, like say for instance, if a clinic has vaccines and they started giving it to their, their healthcare workers there, Mm -hmm. And if instead of discarding if they have vaccines left over, like instead of throwing them away, so start offering them to other people that need the vaccine. Like, so yeah, because we were saying they're um, multi-dose vials. Yeah. So once they're open, they're open. And once they're out of the refrigerator, they can only be out. I can't remember the exact amount of hours, but it's yeah. less than a day. So if you don't use up that whole entire vial, then you have to throw it away and it's a waste. Yeah. So I think that people should just, you know, like clinics that are giving them could probably schedule a day for vaccinations, you know, so they don't end up wasting yeah. vaccines. I think that's what they're doing too. That's why, I, they, you know, they're trying to schedule, see who all want it and all okay. those people come on there and did to get the vaccine so they won't waste them. Okay. Yeah. So another interesting thing that I saw that the CDC has an app. They have an app where um, if you get the vaccine, if you have side effects, you can download the side effects in the app. And if it's like a really severe or, or a side effect that's like really unknown, the CDC may contact you. Now, I haven't seen this with any other vaccine that I know of. Yeah. I haven't seen it. What's the name so of I don't know. I think the name of the app was, let me see. It's like V-Safe. Um, V-Safe. V-Safe. V-Safe app. V-Safe app. Yeah. Yes. So I thought that was interesting because I haven't seen that. Um, I've been practicing for a while and I have never known of an app where you can, um, I know that you can fill out a form or you can go on your website and you can like, if it's such a severe side effect, mm -hmm. you can, you know, you know, um, give them that information, but I've never seen an app like where you can just give them the side effects and they may reach out to you. So and lucky so you call from the, from the government. Let's see. So the big question that I have for you today is, when you getting your vaccine? Girl, you know how I am. <laughs> I can't be the first to try nothing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to be in the first group to get the vaccine. I got to wait until it's been out a while. I got to know that it's safe. I got to know the side effects. I personally, my biggest thing right now is how long does the vaccine keep me safe? You know what I mean? What mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't, so I, I, I am in agreement with you. Um, I want a little more information about the vaccine. Um, I'm, I know I probably eventually will get the vaccine, but not in this first go around. So I'm just waiting for some more research. But that's not to say that you guys should not, don't, should not get the vaccine. That's just my personal preference that I'm going to wait. Um, but 
Because, you know, if I have like high risk patients that I think would benefit from the vaccine, then I will encourage them to get it. Yes. But my yes. personal opinion is I am not getting it right now. Okay. So that doesn't mean my mind won't change, but yeah. So just, you know, we taught, we told y'all what the risks are, the benefits are. So you weigh that with your life and your health and you determine if you want to get the vaccine or not. Yeah, so. Okay. What else, B? Is there anything else that we need to tell them? No, just remember, always remember that this information that we're giving to you is just information. It's information for you to share with your family and friends. It's to spark a conversation. It does not take the place of your primary care provider or any other health care provider that may play a role in your health care. So just remember that. Um, B, B, where you want them to follow us at? Well, I want... Before I tell them where to follow us at, I want them to know that this is not information that we made up. This is information that we got straight from the CDC, um, the CDC's website. So, yeah. And okay. like I said, this is just information to help you make an informed decision. Yes, yes. So I hope you guys enjoy this information that we bring to you every week. And let's see. Follow us on Instagram. Um, Facebook, BNB the Community and Peace, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, and, then, the you know, and Peace. also be what you know. We haven't told our fans about our plans for January and the New Year. We're going to be starting our podcast. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. So we'll Tell about it, B. So we'll be on more platforms for you guys. And sometimes it's hard to get on YouTube and watch a video, especially like if you're driving and, and we know we want to be easily accessible for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Yes, 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 yes. And why be because community, community is, is our beauty.